Well, it's a story that we have covered now for years, and this week marks the seven-year anniversary of when 18-year-old Ebby Stepik disappeared. Her remains were later found three days later in a drainage pipe at Chalmont Park in West Little Rock. Samantha Boyd sat down with Stepik's mom to talk about this anniversary and any movement in the case at all. Bob, the story has twists and turns and is any mother's worst nightmare. Ebby Stepik's mom, Lori Jer Jernigan, tells me this is a God story because he's the only way she has made it through. But still, seven years later, there are some significant questions left unanswered, like who did this and why? The day 18-year-old Ebby Stepik vanished is still vivid for her mother, Lori Jernigan. Uh, you know, my faith has got me through this. Her hell on earth, as she describes it, began in 2015 when her son called her after a bizarre phone call he had with Ebby. He ran into my house and said, something's wrong, something's wrong, something's wrong. Over the next three years, the family would constantly wonder if she was still alive or if others had seen her. Is that her? Is that her? But in 2018, their fears were finally realized when Stepik's remains were discovered in a drainage pipe at Chalamont Park just feet away from where her car was found. Is a little uncomfortable. I mean, um, I'm about to cry, actually. Today, she found the courage to make her way back to the park with me. You know, I look over there and just think, she was in that ditch, in that train, and I hadn't been up here in a while, and I just look at that and think, how is she in there? The past seven years have taken a toll on her. I feel like, I feel like this year I was um, able to truly say to her and let her know <clears throat> that I've done everything humanly possible to find out who did this. Police are still actively investigating, but so far no solid leads have surfaced. As for Jernigan, she's comforted knowing her daughter's legacy lives on. For some reason, this teacher, her senior year, wanted to know what do you want to, how do you want to be remembered? And she said, I want, pe I want to leave this world a better place than the one I came into. And I want people to always remember my name, even those that don't know me. Just as Ebby always wanted. Oh, there's no question she's done that. Jernigy tells me after all of this, her, her son only in his 30s had a heart attack and died. He was the last person to talk to Ebby before she vanished. She believes her son was heartbroken over his death. And as I mentioned, no arrests have been made still. If you know anything at all, contact LRPD. Reporting live in studio, Samantha Boyd, KRK 4 News. There is